What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite chart analyst, back again, giving you the latest and greatest updates on the financial markets. And today we will be taking a closer look at XRP. And if you are new to this channel and you like what you see in here and feel compelled to sub, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications for future content. That being said, let's jump into it today. Today's list, we have a message. Uh, is As we know, I always start off with scripture on this channel. God comes first. Second will be our subscriber shout out. Third will be our market overview. Fourth will be our hot topic, Swift to use XRP. And five, technical analysis on XRP. So I don't have a scripture for today, you guys, but I do have a message for you guys. Faith plus revelation equals transformation. So everybody knows the foundation in, the, in your spiritual walk is faith because faith comes by hearing the word of God. And when you hear the word of God, and you, you start to get revelation by what he's telling you by his words you start to get that transformation in your actions and in who you are becoming in Christ Jesus so that's the message for today that I wanted to give you subscriber shout out goes to Cecile Dawn I appreciate you for uh, being a subscriber to this channel and supporting the channel you are awesome continue to uh, you know support the channel and I hope everybody else you know uh, just you know follows and likes this content that I'm providing for you guys right now We're gonna jump right into the market overview as you see that the market is green today looking pretty um, XRP is doing pretty well up 0.07% not too bad. You just saw that jump uh, like 0.01% so you know now that we see the markets moving up uh, we can only expect good things if we uh, are, you know, expect we're expecting the market to do certain, like big moves this week. I see the tr something in the charts that I do like and see something in the charts that I don't like as well. So I will be getting into that very shortly. Uh, but before that, I want to jump into this news right here. So this thing that I this article that I found, it's not a, really an article. It's more like a page of information that was found uh, in a group page on Facebook that I follow. So it says the Bureau has continued to monitor the remittance transfer market since the publication of the assessment report and observes the most of these developments continue to progress. Examples include the continued growth and expanding functionality of the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunications which is SWIFT, uh, SWIFT Global Payments in in Innovation, GPI, tracking product, which can increase the amount of upfront information available to sending institutions and the expansion of the major payment card network's ca uh, capacity to support cross-border payments. The continued growth of FinTech non-bank remittance transfer provides and their further expansions into partnerships and other relationships with banks and credit unions, which allow such entities to tap into the closed network payment system that non-bank remittance transfers provi transfer providers have developed. In the continued growth and expanding partnerships of virtual currency companies such as Ripple, which offer both a payments messaging platform to support cross-border border money transfers as well as proprietary visual currency xrp as you see it's highlighted and circled which can you be used to affect settlement of those transfers it looks like the bureau it looks like swift will be running on xrp uh it's amazing to see this starting to take effect i think this is going to show that xrp is a force to be record reckoned with it looks like we are in for a treat this year early so expect some stuff to happen by march uh i'm looking at some serious development and some serious movement to the upside uh, by march so we'll see what happens on these, these charts so now that we're looking at the charts we're off going off the weekly time frame uh, i'm gonna give you a scenario of a bullish scenario and a bearish scenario but i'm gonna start with the uh the bullish scenario all right so as you see here we have been respecting this trend line this been acting as a resistance since june of last year 
So looking at it, we are now at that point right now where price is going to probably want to test back in this level, which will take us back to 22 cents and 648. So if we could get above this level, we could start turning uh, pretty bullish, especially this green zone. If we look, once we look at it on the daily time frame, you'll see what I'm talking about. But we need to get above this uh, resistance level in this green zone here to get back into 30 cent territory. I believe once we get over this resistance level, price will take us back to the 32 cent level up in here. So I'm going to mark it here. That's what I'm expecting if we do make a bullish move and get that break. Because we also have to look at it on at, at the... We also have to look at price as a at the short term because we don't just make moves because we feel that it's bullish. We make moves because we see what's going on in the market and we analyze each time frame to get a, a better perspective on what the market's going to do. So looking at it, price is still under the, the cloud. So we are still bearish until then, until we get above this, you know, resistance level here moving to the daily time frame we are you know we are facing some turbulence in here which is you know it's not too bad but we also know that price is still trying to push to the upside so we are getting closer to this resistance line and we may test it very soon depending on what happens in the next couple days uh, we have Kijinsen aiming up which shows momentum's moving up strong we went from flat to angle to the upside so that's a good sign uh, we're starting to get a bullish kumo twist right here so that's a good sign for price moving up this signifies that uh pro trying to predict future prices starting to want to move to the upside as you see here uh, once we get a twist it shows you what direction the market would like to move in um, so we are looking at some bullish momentum getting into this market uh, as you can see it's respecting tinkinson and which is uh, showing that price is wanting to move to the upside as well. Going based off the four hour time frame, we are above the clouds, so we are still bullish off the four hour time frame. It looks like we are getting some price, we will see some price action in these levels. And it's only soon that price will want to go to the upside or downside. It will be making its mark very soon. Let me go ahead and throw that back on. So coming down to the one hour time frame, price is moving horizontally, which is showing that price is getting exhausted on this lower time frame. So we, we're starting to see some bearish, uh, you know, we might get some bearish moves, you know, to correct the market so for a some, some type of uh, correction in the market. As you see here, price is already trying to break through the cloud to move to the downside. We look at this it shows that we are going to have some bearish divergence as well as you can see the the ultimate oscillator is making some lower lows here and prices you know was making some higher highs so it looks like we have some uh, divergence here as well so i will be marking that and last but not least the 15 minute time frame which is what i'm concerned with at this point uh, looking at it, what I do see, price is consolidating, as I said before, moving up and down in this box until we break this box. Price looks to be underneath the clouds, so it looks like price may want to move to the lower end. And once price breaks outside this box, I'm expecting price to move down to the 22 cent and a half level in if we get a break at that level, we'll start to see lower prices. So we'll see probably a 20, uh, uh, 20 cent XRP again very soon, but that's to be uh, announced. Uh, I do see you know, good things as far as XRP moving to the upside. If we can hold here and move back up, that'll be phenomenal. Or break through this cloud, that'll be great at this point. But looking at the conditions of where we are, it, you know, it shows that our momentum is starting to come back down. 
it's reject it was rejected here but it looks like price wants to come back down at the moment just going based off the uh one hour time frame because of bearish divergence as well so that's what i see so far in the market uh, as of now short term i'm bearish long term i'm bullish i think by uh march we'll start to see some real movements and for now that's my technical analysis for you guys news to give to you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment and subscribe your thoughts and let me know what you think in the comment section below god bless and peace